dark softly tales, dreamy summer bites, flashes of horror and suspense, bite back at the fear. Free Mercury by Mav Sky. Sun is high in the sky, hot, red hot. Flies buzz around it like a pile of bullshit. I stare, watching the flies buzz around and around. Sirens break out behind me. I look at the road through the cracked windshield. I see I've swerved all the way off the road, all the way on to the grass. Mom glances up from Intergalactic Global Encounters magazine and says, Jesus Christ, how much dumber can you get? If they ask, say it's your daddy's fault. I break and look at Mom. She tosses the mag in the back seat, pulls cigarettes from her purse. Food stamps fall and scatter to the floor. They scatter softly like flower petals. I smell smoke as she lights up. She's mumbling and shaking her head. Just out, Jacob, and already forcing me to cover for you. Are you gonna force me to fuck him? that how dumb you are? I wrinkle my forehead, still looking at the food stamps lying next to an empty Cheetos bag. I touch my head. My fingers linger on the spot, then go to the steering wheel. I want to go home. Her shoes are red. Her red shoes have stiletto heels. One heel lifts and stabs a food stamp. My heart raises. I think of the hot, hot sun. The flies buzzing around it. Mars is next to Mercury. I hear their cries, their pleas. I swallow hard in the car under the hot sun. The flies are buzzing around the sun. The sun is close to Mars. Quicksilver is on Mercury. I want to go home. The sirens bloop behind us. I look at Mom. Emotion makes my throat swell to the size of the moon. I can't tell what it is I feel, but I feel it. So I say the word with all my heart. Please. She blows cigarette smoke in my face, then shoves the butt in the ashtray. She pushes her sunglasses up. That what they taught you in the crazy house? Pause. I hear screaming. I see a hot sun. I want to go home. I want to sleep in my own bed, she says. Roll down your window. I roll down my window. License and uh, registration, please. The cop stands with his hands on his hips and a grin on his lips. I explain. The, The sun strives to torch the flies, yet the flies will free Mercury. It's my dad's fault. Uh, huh? License and registration, please. I think of something else to say, but she tugs on my sleeve, so I don't say it. She takes my license out of my wallet and hands it to me. I hand the license to the cop. He takes the license. In slow motion, his head cocks down towards the license. He looks at it. Then he looks at me. His sunglasses mirror my ugly, pimply face. 
His face is expressionless. It sucks to be 17, I say. It's my dad's fault. Another tug on my sleeve. She hands me a flimsy piece of paper. I hand a flimsy piece of paper to the cop. The cop takes the flimsy piece of paper, but he doesn't look at it this time. He just keeps looking through the window. Go home, I want to say. There's nothing to see here. No clowns or lions. No 60-foot-tall women living on the moon. No fireplace pokers. Go home. I want to go home. Are you this young man's mother? The cop asks. No, I say. Idiot. Dumb shithead. He is talking to her. I look at the double mirrors latching onto his face. He smiles. He smiles as he holds my license and flimsy piece of paper. Go home. There's nothing to see here. I say. Step out of the car, young man. I step out of the car and slam the door. Mom leans to the window. Don't mind Jacob. He's slow. I can see that. They both laugh. I wrinkle my forehead. My pimply, ugly forehead. It's hot. It's always hot in the sun. I glance over at the officer's gun. His... Quicksilver. He bends and leans through the window as he talks to Mom, looking down her shirt. The sun is hot, very hot. The flies buzz around the sun. Soon, they will escape the sun. Mars is next to Mercury. The flies will free Mercury. I reach over and slide the bale on the officer's holster. The officer draws a long drag from Mom's cigarette. I draw the quicksilver from the holster and slip it inside my deep pockets, then lean back against the car. The officer stands and looks at me. Get back in the car. He steps away from the door. I get back in behind the wheel. The officer bends back to the window. Mom applies red lipstick. Slowly, she says. What do you uh, need, police officer? He smiles even more. I think his teeth look like polar bears from the North Pole. The ravenous polar bears that will cover their black nose in the snow so you won't see them when they are chasing you to eat you. If you don't mind taking a step outside, ma'am, I can give your kid here back his documents. As he says this, I can see in one lens of his mirror glasses the ugly pus pocket on the tip of my nose and suddenly... I want to squeeze it, squeeze it out till it's clean, and my nose will look normal again. Shit. In the other lens, I see Mom. She's giving the cop a look that gets us into nice apartments sometimes, or just the overnight places. The look that gives us free cigarettes and booze. The look that gets me free meds when I have an episode. The look she gave the two EMTs the night she was drunk and dad left us. And she was so mad because I wouldn't stop crying that she hit me with a fireplace poker. The look that made the detectives believe it was my dad who hit me with a fireplace poker. 
and not her. The look that made us have to leave our home. The look that makes her just as gross as the pussy zit on my nose. When mom finally gets back to the car, she shoves me over to the passenger side and waves at the officer as he pulls back on the road. She lights up, fixes her lipstick in the rearview mirror. Don't make me put you back in that crazy house, Jacob. You may have just gotten out, but I'll stick you back in. I swear I will. The Cheeto bag crinkles under my sneakers. I cover the bulge in my pocket with my shirt. Soon, the sun will set, and the flies will free mercury. I have quicksilver. It, it's all Dad's fault. I pause a moment. I, I want to go home. Who likes dark stories? People who have experienced a touch of the dark side. People who are a little wiser to the world. People who like their bones chilled and their spines tingled. People like you and me. It's hard to find a story these days that write on the dark side with a touch of whimsy, humor, and heart. Mav Sky spreads her dark wings and solves this problem for you. Head on over to Amazon and type Mav Sky's name into the search engine. M-A-V-S-K-Y-E. At Amazon, you'll find her Tales to Chill Your Bones series, Girl Clown Hatchet series, Supergirl series, her cult classic novel, Wanted Single Rails, and, of course, her brand new release, Cold Hangs the Midnight. Choose your dark flavor and head on over to Amazon today. <laughs>